here at the Worldwide Technology, one here last time out against Bethlehem Steel. It's St. Louis FC hosting Memphis 901 in a makeup game. The game delayed due to Lightning. Turning on the ball and leaving with Colin Fernandez, who plays defeat of Kyle Gregg. Touch around Doyle has a first time strike. Nice return ball, the first touch. Not what was required there from Epps. And now Lindley sliding in. That's a strong tackle. Ooh. Ooh, in the center of midfield yeah. on Colin Fernandez. And now a decision to make for John Freeman. It's the studs up that looks bad there. Yep, it is red. And there it is. Marching orders for Cameron Lindley. You get it wrong, you can break someone's leg. Have a look here, Cameron Lindley. Ooh, that, that, that's a leg breaker. A two-man advantage for St. Louis FC. Ciceroni. 1-2 with comfort and it's sent through the penalty is spilled by Caldwell and Dakers can't get enough on it. And Muhammad will have to clear. Only so good at hitting these crosses with pace. Potentially throw all their numbers forward to find the breakthrough, but you see Memphis unable to hit on the counter there. Has now afforded some space West Sharpie. And his strike. Five more minutes. We'll see if there are any more adjustments to be made by Tim McQueen to do so. As the whistle sounds, we're ready to go here in this second half. Takers. It's a turn there by Camden Febo. Genda trying to send the cross in. And nearly there to pick him off Ciceroni, which he does. Forces a great save from Jeff Caldwell. Brilliant. A little bit of poor defending there, waiting for the ball to, to fall from Wes Sharpie. Can't really do that. You've got to get rid of it straight away. And the goalkeeper forced him. Again, with Paul and Grandison holding, as Brandison has a go and forces Gomez to punch over. In the far corner, you might have had trouble getting to this. It's a beautiful strike. The keepers just at the keepers. He just tips it over and looking at the game. Wow, that, that ball is spraying it out to Kandem Fewo. Cross towards that back post. Caldwell punching, but comes here for Ciceroni, who couldn't keep the follow up down. And was that the chance for St. Louis? to find the breakthrough. Once again, he has supplied some great crosses. Keeper gets on the end of it, pushes it into trouble as opposed to away from trouble. And Ciceroni just can't quite bring it down. Could he have done more? Jumps up here, he's gonna hit it early. Just, just can't quite angle it. You can see all their heads. It's full time. It'll feel like two points dropped for St. Louis and a point one for Memphis. You were down a man for over an hour, but on the night, it finishes St. Louis FC nil. Memphis 901 nil.